Well, 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 sooner or later they all come crawling back to Ted. I'm just kidding. It, guys, we're at the last episode of this road to the Magnus Classic. The Magnus Classic, it's su Sunday right now, it starts next Friday, so I think we're about, if my math is correct, five days away from the big international competition. And we are about to do the last workout, I presume. We're going to Skemtegarden to lift some the stones and do some stone pressing, stone farmers. Did a little bit of deadlifts on Friday and uh, some throwing and we're not killing ourselves, but you know, sh you can train your shoulders um, closer to the competition than you can do like a heavy deadlift session because that, you know, just your shoulders, they, uh, shoulders and triceps, they recover a lot quicker oh, than anything else. So yeah, um, but man, this has gone, gone, far, gone by so fast. The reason I'm wearing a scarf and everything right now is because it's pretty cold. Um, like in November, it starts getting very cold in Iceland. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting in the competition because we all have different ways of doing it. Like for me, wearing too much clothes in competition, um, a sweater or pants really throws me off. It just doesn't get me in my zone. Like I, you know, I dress to show what's inside almost. Like I just, yeah, you know, uh, I dress the way I feel. So if I feel, you know, snugly and tucked up and in warm clothing, I won't feel like I can, like just turn it on if you know what I mean, you know, um, you know, you know, you know. So usually in the contest, I believe I'm gonna be wearing just, you know, the thermal shorts and t-shirt while I'm performing. But uh, as soon as I'm finished doing, I'll put on everything. Like right now I have a scarf, I have a caveman shirt, um, flannel shirt, and then I have a Magnus Vers Jakobol hoodie over and yeah. I'm not wearing any pants though, like, <laughs> I'm only wearing thermal shorts <laughs> because, you know, I've never ever felt like, oh my god, my legs are so cold, not very often, I feel like they just stay warm almost in a way, plus I also have knee sleeves and stuff, so, you know, it's no biggie, but yeah, it's me and Vilius, I don't know, maybe Christian Sinter is coming? Who you might know under the username on Instagram, Isla Strong is gay. Um, yeah, so hopefully it will be uh, three of us at least. It'll be more fun. But yeah, um, how do I feel for the competition? I'm excited. My body weight this morning was 160 kilograms of sort of because I had COVID. I got my diagnosed with COVID last Monday because I had been feeling a little bit sick prior. Uh, if you watch my Static Monsters recap video, um, so I've been dealing with COVID this week. Didn't feel you know okay until Friday. So in like my weights, like it's been uh, my appetite wasn't the best. But I'm 160 right now. Uh, hopefully, I can get to 162 before the competition. That would be nice. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you in the scam to gather. Oh my God, guys. I uh, I can't even begin to describe how cold it feels. It. My phone says it's. Four degrees Celsius, but the, it also says it feels like minus one because of the wind, and it certainly feels like minus one rather than four degrees. So, just trying to get my body a little warm. Oh, Jesus! And now I remember this: two years ago in the Magnus Classic, like the coldness plays such a big part. in the memory. Oh. I was just waiting for the for Christian and Julius to come. I think they're on the way. Oh. Get warm body please. Oh. Oh. 
I'm training with a scarf, for crying out loud, <laughs> with a scarf. <sighs> and I think probably my camera's battery is going to drain really fast because of the cold. So, yeah. <sighs> we'll see how it goes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good triple extension. Come on. Shoot him stand up. Okay. You see, don't always expect you're gonna do it like with an animal's dog. Expect to be and a bit of a grind. Expect. Yeah. It's okay to grind, don't worry, if you stop, yeah. don't stop. Come on, Ted, enough. You got it, man. Yes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a break now. Yeah. The stone is in the correct position. I'm gonna try a new way now. Okay, good. Come on, Ted. Just for it. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Try to hit it. Hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. Go, go. Don't stop it now. Ekki gefst upp. Yeah. Almost. Hold on the hoosin. Not the hoosin. Hold. Hold. You have to hold. Good. We are. Oh, what a battle. <laughs> you see? You didn't stop. So. Use your fucking head as well. <laughs> That's a gift. Yeah. Now just five days of feeding. Oh. We will destroy this in comp. That's that high note. Five come. days of eating and two very light sessions. Yeah. But now the next two sessions, man, is uh, your imagination in the gym for 45 minutes. Oh, 
struggle. Very technical, very strong left up. Technical. Very strong, very technical. Could you maybe give me down just? Yeah, sure. He's a true crafting amateur. Wrestling is the skeptic. Okay, come on, man. Come on. On your own. Athletes ready? No. I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be here. Okay. I'm going to be here. Period! Come on, you're on time, man. Easy. Down! Down! Good, good, come on. Good pace, Christian, come on. Come on. Come on now. You got this man, come on. Come on, finish strong. Come on, yes. You come on. Squeeze it harder. You you got it, come on. I'm still waiting. Hurt my stomach. No down. No down. No down. <laughs> no down. Oh my god, what a crazy cold training session. It was so cold that I have a hard time just picking up the camera and speaking between sets. So <coughs> I apologize for the lack of talking, but uh, great. It was like so, so very, very just how, what do I say? Amazing, stunning. Fulfilling to uh, do that 112 kilogram stone overhead. I've tried a few times before, never gotten it, but this time I got it. You know, we're getting close to contest, we're getting stronger, and it, everything's feeling much better. So, uh, uh, let's chill out here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so super successful training session. <laughs> um, yeah, doing that about 12, really happy with that. Then the stone to shoulder went a little bit rough. Like, I have a hard time doing that stuff. Like, just, you know. Yeah. I have a hard time just, you know, where I have to lift to my lap and then lift it further. I figured it out with the atlas stones but i haven't quite figured out with like um other stuff you know just how to use my hips really in those exercises you know to the to its full potential but uh did the 130 i mean you know happy with that you know i'm gonna do that in a medley because we're not gonna have a stone to shoulder medley and uh yeah, then I did the farmers, felt pretty good, you know, just, but for some reason, like, I always feel much better than the farmers after I've done them one or two times, then I feel, you know, in the groove and in, in the rhythm and everything feels right and good to go. It's very hard when you have to go just cold, you know, without really warming up those specific muscle memory muscles, you know, with walking with the farmers, just go straight to 137 and 142. Um, 
but yeah, I'm gonna go home, eat, really happy with this, it's like, yeah, the road to the Magnus Classic is coming to an end and it's time to do the Magnus Classic, you know, itself, so, uh, yeah, but I can't stress enough how how insanely cold it was here, but uh, we got through it. <laughs> really fun to train with these guys. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go home and eat. I'm gonna be eating 7,400 calories per day, like leading up to the contest. So it's time to make make uh, hail while the sun is shining. <laughs> That's the phrase I keep hearing these days. But anywho. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like the video, and I'll check you guys later. Gonna train two more training sessions until the contest just light, fun. And yeah, see you guys later. Live long and prosper. Uh -huh.